And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at Hammer Time. Now yes, here's the problem. This is a game for children, and yet I said the name of this, and probably a song started going through your head. But it has nothing to do with that. This is a game where, literally, you take a hammer, and you'll be hitting the side of the box, or tapping the side of the box. This is a silly little game where there's going to be gems in the back of the box, and you're trying to knock them off to fulfill cards. It's pretty simple. Let me show you. Each player gets their own little deck of cards here. There's a few cards that you're going to shuffle, and you're going to have them face up like this. These are mine cards that you need to fill. You have a deck of little task cards that you're going to shuffle, put next to the board. Then you're going to put all the gems here on top of the back of the box. One person is given a hammer, they'll go first, and on a player's turn, what they're going to do is they're going to hit the side of the box until at least one gem falls off. So no gems have fallen off yet. So let's try that again. All right, some gems fell off. So you're done hitting the box when it happens. Now, if you, if you knock off nine or more gems, then you have to put them all back. You get nothing. I only knocked off two, that's great. Now this black gem's worthless, it's coal or something. But the red gem I get to put here on my card. I also look at this here, this task, to see if I've completed it. This task says knock off one, two, or three gems. Great, I did complete that task, so I'm going to flip this over, and I have a wild gem that I'm going to be able to use to complete the card. This one says knock off uh, two black gems. This one here, um, this one shows these two smiling dwarfs here, and I have to knock off an even number of gems here, an odd number of gems, and so on. So again, it's pretty simple. So I'm trying to fill this card up. Only three gems knocked off, but again, I can only use one of them, the red one. So I'm gonna, next time I would do this, I'm gonna try and knock off on this side. You can see these green ones. Well, there I've knocked off way too many gems, so I don't get any of them. Anyway, once you do knock off the gems, let's say I, have, I got off two more green gems, I could also use this to fill this card up. I complete it, I have another card. The first person to complete all their cards is the winner. Now there's another variant you can play where you use a die. When you roll this die, you will do something based on the color that's rolled. For example, if you roll a yellow, you have to use the handle of the hammer. If you roll a blue, you have to use your off hand to do it. If you roll a purple, you use your fist. If you roll the orange, the worst color, I mean the red, you have to put your head on the table while you do it. If you roll an orange, you can't use your thumb. And if you roll a green, you got to close your eyes when hitting it. Anyway, that's the game. There's not a ton of components in this game. You have this die here, which is a nice wooden die. The only problem with this die here is that the colors, you don't remember exactly what they do. The rule book itself has a little thing here. I wouldn't have minded if there'd been like a little player aid. But the gems are fine. But what's really interesting about this is, you, on the back of the box itself, you put a sticker here. So it's a sticker. It's not that sticky of a sticker, but it's kind of like a little, like a thin mouse pad, neoprene material here on the back. And it has a bit of a rough edge on it. And so this keeps these from moving too much, as opposed to, you know, if I was just using the back of the box, you can see they'll just come right off the back of the box. So I like that. It works well. The cards are fine. Also, again, you're going to have to look up what they mean. For example, this meaning even isn't something that I find to be particularly memorable. But really, other than that, the game is about this hammer, the gems, and putting them on the back of the box. And for that, it works well. Well, there you have it. Like I said, it's a really simple game. Uh, in fact, we have a live play of this on our channel that you can look up or you can see me playing this with my kids. So this works really well with little small kids. They're gonna have a blast. In fact, if you watch the live playthrough, you'll see my son is just amused by everything that happens in this game because it's fun to hit the side of the box. Once you know it, you know that if you hit on this side, this is the way they'll fall off. So whichever way you want the gems to go, you hit the opposite direction, which teaches your children about force and the opposite of force. For every action, there is an opposite and equal reaction. But anyway, Besides that, it's just silly fun. Now, we always play with the die because the die just adds some nonsense to the game. 
the game ends really quickly. Um, some people are going to, you know, a lot of Haba games, there's a lot of people who are like, oh, adults can play it. Sure, you can, just like any of these games you can play. You can play any game and have a good time. But this is definitely aimed towards kids. But it is a game that I like that you can play with kids and the parents, and the kids might beat the parents, even if the parents are trying, because, you know, knocking the gems off is not as easy as a task as you might think. And if you put a modicum of not trying into it, then there's definitely an even keel there. So I like it. Haba takes a silly concept, and that's all they do. There's nothing else really added to it. It makes the whole thing work really well. And I recommend this one. This is one of the best Haba games I've played in a while. I think it works well for kids pretty much of all ages. So check it out. Hammer Time. Dice Tower Judgment. Kid Approved.